The House of Representatives has rejected the planned conferment of the Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, CF CFR, on the Speaker, Tajuddin Abbas, and the Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, on the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Benjamin Kalu. The rejection was made during Wednesday's plenary session as federal lawmakers from the House of Representatives expressed dissatisfaction with the President's, or the president's double standards in awarding the national honors. The president had announced that the Senate President Gatswila Pabio and the Chief Justice of the Federation Kudarat Kekerekung would be awarded with the titles of the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger GCON, while the Deputy Senate President Barao Jibrin will be awarded the title of CFR, just as the Speaker of the Right, the Speaker Right Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, Honorable Philip Agbeshe brought up the observation through a motion of urgent public importance at plenary following the President's October 1 Independence Day address to the nation, stating that it neglects all aspects of constitution that stated clearly the principle of equality for both chambers, unless the president is trying to rewrite the nation's 1999 constitution as amended. This is not about Taj Din Abbas. This is about the fourth person in the protocol of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is about the equal chamber as enshrined in the uh, according to for, uh, section 47 of the Federal Republic Constitution of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, the two chambers, House of Representatives and the Senate, as clearly provided in the Constitution, work to create laws for the good governance of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, in accordance with the protocol of this country, the speaker is the fourth in protocol. The CGN comes after. Today, the CGN is given the award, the honor of GCON. I think there is some, some mismatch, some mix up, constitutional point of view. House of Representatives have more powers in terms of dispensing our own duties because the power of appropriation is visiting us. And two, there's nothing. We are not subservient to any other legislative arm. We are supposed to be a part in terms of functions. And I think where we are getting it wrong and where Nigerians are getting it wrong, each time there are matters, they say president or chairman of the National Assembly. It's not done to the Constitution. It's not in any place in any place. And this has given rise an occasion to some of the things that are happening now. And I want to mention specifically what Honorable Sada mentioned. Last time when this thing happened, in leadership then of the Ninth Assembly, the news of the senior president giving GCON, which is a good thing, we also expect that the same way in the Federal House of Representatives. A reason being that we are operating a bicameral legislature. When it comes to budget, the role of the House of Representatives, everybody knows that this House plays a more crucial role than the Senate. We are not making comparison because this is a bicameral legislature. It's not about you, it's about all of us, the 360. The president has, however, not specified a date for the conferment, but in another development, the House of Representatives has urged the federal government through the Federal Ministry of Water Resources to begin desilting the country's major dams and rivers to prevent excessive flooding that threatens lives and properties of citizens. Honorable Mohammed Shehu raised this motion at plenary, stating that proper desilting of major dams and rivers, if urgently addressed, will promote irrigation farming and lead to increase, an increase in food production for domestic consumption and export, which will in turn contribute to economic prosperity of the country. Honorable Shehu expressed concern that 80% of Nigerian farmers have experienced significant crop losses resulting in debt and forcing many to exit the farming business. We also know that government negligence in supporting farmers' effort to address the problem has hindered the implementation of an adequate action plan which will enhance drainage system mechanism to control flood in the country. 
What is that? Negligence has led to edu an adequate drainage system, insufficient food, flood control measures, lack of support for farmers to adapt to uh, climate change, inadequate compensation for farmers' losses, and the inefficient water resources management. Aware that developed countries like the United States of America, the United States, King the United States Kingdom, and South Africa have made a poor control through proper drainage sustainability a key object of the administration in order to safeguard the environment, improve food security, and ensure food sustainability. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.